a kid of this ain't fun anymore. Go away. Carly, I've no idea what's going on here. Mate, will you tell me what I'm supposed to have done? Come on, son, you're freaking out, Dad. I think you better go. You want to start explaining? Do yourself a favour, turn around and walk away. Why is Max frightened of you? I ain't got the foggiest. Sorry, I don't believe you. I can't give him monkeys. If you've hurt him in any way... What did you just say? I would never hurt that lad, never. And Jason? Change the record. It's not an answer. For the last time, I didn't touch him. Well, if I find out different... You'll do what? You'll do what, Sarah? I thought so. We're closed. Good night, we're brew. They're doing all they can. I only say that because you look like you want to smash through the glass. I'm sorry. It's okay to feel helpless. No, for me it isn't. When Jason met me back into his life, I promised myself I'd always be there. I'd look out for him. It's not your fault. <laughs> How come it feels like it is? He's a grown man. You can't be there for him 24-7. Barton still sees him as a little boy I bailed on. I just got him back, Eileen, and now I might lose him forever. It won't come to that. It won't. I should have gone after her. Oh, nah, mate, you did the right thing. So how long you known Carla? Um, long enough. Got close recently. <laughs> kind of picked up on that. So, it's serious? <laughs> no, friends, I don't think that's any of your business. Hey, you and Michelle called me, remember? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, it's complicated. It usually is with her. It doesn't change much. Huh? It's hard to say. She's definitely a bit mellower. Mellower? 100%, ask anyone. Back in the day, Carla could start a fight in an empty room. Uh, so, did you and her... <laughs> You're joking, aren't you? I'm way too smart for that. So, what's that made me? Mad about her, I'm guessing. <laughs> I mean, they practically ambushed me. Without malicious intent, I expect. Well, that's not the point. What is? They're supposed to be my mates. Who are trying to help you? Well, you don't help somebody by, by humiliating them and then trying to hijack the business. I mean... Perhaps they felt that desperate times called for desperate measures. They were out of order. What's done is done. You need to look forward. Boy, I just want it all to stop. When you think my leaving it will? Probably not, but at least I'll be spared Nick and Michelle's pity party. Well, what do you mean? How can he not know? I'm just telling you what he said. And you believe him? I don't know. Well, how hard did you push? Hard. How hard? Hard enough that he scared me. Look, I'm going to have to go to work. Will you just keep me updated? Will do. Well, now what's the plan? I think we might need a little bit of man time. The history of fine art. Go ahead and laugh. I think it's cool. Why would I laugh? Oh, well, most people do. I'm glad I'm not most people. Anyway, it's just a dream. How come? And Dad reckons it's a waste of time. He wants me to study something more practical, like engineering. But shouldn't that be your choice? It's your life. Well, I told him that, and he said, well, it might be all life, but it's my checkbook. That isn't fair. I guess he only wants what's best for me. My mum reckons it's her job to be the wind beneath my wings. That's Ted sweet. You haven't heard her sing. <laughs> I think Dad's more of a foot with a backside type. Must be why it's so big. Your backside isn't big. Been checking it out, have you? 
Sorry. Can't resist. <sighs> Craig will be getting worried. I've texted him a couple of times, but he hasn't replied. Oh, maybe we should get back. Well, I'd rather wait for Fizz. Besides, he's probably enjoying some downtime. How's my colour? Still a blotchy red? More of a sexy pink. Correct answer. Heads up. Oh, look, your sister's back. Well? Um, the doctor says she's anemic. Anemic? Is that, like, not enough blood or something? It's haemoglobin, I think. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, I had it with Craig. And what's the next step? Well, we'll go and see the GP and see what's causing it, I suppose. Any money, it'll just be an iron deficiency. Yeah, yeah, she'll be fine. Too right. They don't come any tougher than I hope. Mm. <laughs> Sweet, I'll be getting a And the young England skipper just can't seem to get on the ball. Ooh, close, but no cigar. <laughs> this is getting embarrassing now, Max. Oh! <laughs> oh, referee! Yes! Ref! <laughs> yeah! Right, time out now. What's the score? Ten one to me. Ouch. Ouch indeed. Thanks. We're having a bath after that. Okay. Let's go on then, pal. Is there anything you want to tell us? About what? Well, you know when Callum came round earlier. Well, no, he just seemed a bit scared. We just want to help. You can't. Maybe leaving is the appropriate course of action. Your business skills are portable. You've, you've no dependent family or real ties. I'll stick the boot in, why don't you? I, I'm, I'm just pointing out that if being here makes you unhappy, you've, you've nothing really to lose by moving on. I can live with being unhappy, Roy, given the choices I've made and the pain I've caused, you know? I don't really deserve anything else. That's not true. What I can't live with is making everybody else's life a misery as well. If that's true, surely you leaving would increase that misery. Are you saying you'd miss me? Of course. Mm -hmm. I, I, as would Michelle and Nick, many others. I'm really confused now. First you're telling me to go, now you're telling me to stay. I'm merely pointing out both sides of the argument. I don't want both sides of the argument. Stuff them. I just want your advice. I've tried giving that. Look where that got you. No, for better or worse, Carla, the decision is yours. Oh, I know. There's such a lot of bad memories here, though. Memories you'll still carry with you wherever you live. You think I should stay and fight, don't you? scan shows that the swelling has subsided. So does that mean no second up? Unless there's a drastic deterioration. Well, that's good news, yeah? That's very good news. But it is still early days. Could see, can wake him up? Not immediately. I need to find out who did this to him. I understand. No, I don't think you uh, do. Tony. How long before he's out of the coma? It could be days. It could be weeks. At the moment, it's a matter of wait and see. Oh, yeah, wait and see. You calm down. As I said... I heard what you said, and I want a second opinion. Right, that's enough. This is not about you. This is about Jason. We just want to make sure that he's going to be OK. Nothing's certain, but barring major complications, he should make a full recovery. No, if you'll excuse me. Thank you. Sorry. Forget it. Could have been a lot worse. Mm -hmm. I can't stay here. I'm not doing you more than that any good. She won't return my text. <laughs> Give the mushroom cloud some time to sell. Evening. Evening. Is Carla here? No, not at the moment. Oh, she summoned me. The plot thickens. 
And you are? An old mate of Carla's. Oh. Drink. Uh, gin and tonic, please. It's on me. Oh, it's all right. I insist. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm Sally Webster, by the way. Aidan Connor. Ah, are you visiting? Something like that. Hi. Evening. <sighs> Allow me to hazard a guess. You were summoned as well. I'm sorry, do I know you? No. But the night's still young. Aidan Connor. Ali and Azir. Right, so where do you fit into all this? Consider me an interested spectator. Let me know if this is starting to get boring. No chance. Still, maybe we should be getting back. Five more minutes. Make that ten. Fifteen. What in the name of all things, Holy! It's not what it looks like. Actually, it is. It's precisely what it looks like. You better cease and desist immediately, sunshine. We only care. You don't have to justify yourself. Come on. He'll never understand what we have. Well, with my scratch card savings and Kevin's input, Carla need only name a figure. Sally, the woman just sacked you. She's not about to sell you her precious factory. Oh, she will because she knows how much I care about Underworld, unlike some. Sentimentality won't grow the business. Oh, and you will, will you? I think you'll find I already have. <sighs> You've barely been there for five minutes. So? So, cheap gimmicks and faddy ideas are no substitute for experience and maturity. Maturity, that's another word for old, isn't it? You're close to her, what do you think? <laughs> um, I'd rather not speculate. What about you? What you said. Oh, come on, you must have an opinion. And I'll share it when I'm good and ready. What's that supposed to mean? Perfect timing. Thanks both for coming. Um, ah, oh, it's my pleasure. You've come to a decision, I take it? I have, yeah. And it's a no. Correct. Oh, <laughs> do it, Carla, I know we haven't oh, seen no, that. I'm staying put. What? You can have your old job back. I don't want my job back. I want an explanation as to why you're not selling. Well, I've had a change of heart. Oh, don't look at me. Well, isn't this awkward? Hi, hi. What's going on here? Hi. Hey. Looks like someone's been busy. How's Hope? Yeah, just a touch of anemia, they said. Nothing to worry about. You want to keep that lad of yours on a leash? Come again. You word. Oi. Mind your necking. I've just caught these two canoodling. That's snogging, right? Get in there. Is that all you've got to say? I taught him everything he knows. Why doesn't that surprise me? Dad, chill out. Don't tell me to chill out, Caitlin. He was all over her like a rash. No offence. None taken. I couldn't be prouder. You're all of your chuffing rockers. Don't pick on them. You're always trying to control me. I'm protecting you. I'm not a child. I'm 16. We are not having this debate. Oh, of course not. Why change the habit of a lifetime? What, what's that supposed to mean? We talk all the time. No, you talk. You don't care about anything I have to say anymore. That's not true. Craig has listened to me more this holiday than you have in the past year. He is a good listener. Mm, he needs to be with your gob. He thinks I'm brilliant. This... This isn't all because of that art course malarkey, is it? It's about everything, Dad. I love you to bits, but you need to loosen up. Not everything's a challenge or an obstacle to overcome. You, you snooze, you lose, love. Life is focus, head on a swivel. Yeah, and it can also be fun. Do you remember that word? Because you used to be the most fun dad in the world. I'm still that guy, love. I've, I've, I've just been a bit off message lately, that's all. Well, maybe you can get back on message. I really need that guy back. I always need him. Consider your old man reprimanded. Permission to feel a numpty. <laughs> Permission granted. Aww. We've got all this to look forward to, eh? <laughs> You've made me look like a right idiot. That wasn't my intention. Spare me. Well, I just hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Nothing's been agreed. Alia, this wasn't personal. How can you even say that with a straight face? Between us, it will always be personal. Well, here we are again. 
And I really thought I had a shot this time. Believe me, Sal, you don't want to run the factory. You've got a terrific life. Why do you want to ruin it? Not the best sales pitch I've ever heard. And there was I thinking it was all posh handbags and power lunches. I wish. Tell me truthfully, it wasn't because you didn't think I was up to it. No, oh, you're more than capable, Sal. You're just not insane enough. OK. Well, you know, about my old job, when I said I'd... I'll see you Monday bright and early. OK. Thank you, Mrs. Connor. And then there was one. Sorry, uh, I went behind your back. Mm-hmm. Buy me a drink and we'll call it even. What can I get you? Whiskey. How's Jason? Is there any improvement? Some. The swelling on his brain is reduced, but he's still in an induced coma. Is he going to be OK? Well, no more in a few days. Uh, have you heard any more from the police? Nope. Apparently, they're continuing with their inquiries. Well, I thought I might go and visit him tomorrow. That'd be great. About the night it happened, I don't suppose you've remembered anything else. Like what? Jason was attacked right outside. Maybe the animals who did it were drinking in here. Maybe you served them. I told the police everything I know. Think carefully. The smallest detail might help. I swear there's nothing. But trust me, I want whoever did this court just as much as you do. I don't just want them caught. What made you change your mind? Roy spoke to me. Although I did most of the talking. <laughs> You always did like the sound of your own voice. Hey, don't push it. You aren't out of the doghouse just yet. What have I done wrong? You showed up, didn't you? Well, now I'm here, I suppose the big question is, am I staying? In theory, I'm amenable to your offer. That's incredibly big of you. Don't push it. I suppose you, you'd probably want to get more of a feel for the business, don't you? See more of the staff. Well, that's a given. I also need to see the last three years' accounts. Yeah, fair enough. It's not that I don't trust you. I don't trust anyone. No, I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, I'll see you next week. Mm-hmm. Until then. Don't even get a hug. In your dreams. Pretty drinks. Seems like a decent bloke. Yeah, he is, when it suits him. So, uh, where's that leave us? What's well, impossible is you walking past a souvenir shop and not buying anything. They're not souvenirs, they're collectibles. Now belt up and give me hands. <laughs> I was, um, <clears throat> I was wrong to question your integrity. It's just Caitlin is amazing, clever, and basically awesome. You forgot beautiful. What? No, I'm up in your soul. Fresh start. I'd like that. That's enough. All good. Roger that. Wait, wait, get everything out, start again. This is like the flaming Krypton Factor. She's worse than you are. I'm not the one who packs ten pairs of pyjamas. Oh, you wear PJs. It's all about utilising the correct available space. There's an old Sherpa technique. We've, We've got, got it. it. Right. right, wait, wait, wait. You are going to let us say goodbye in private? All right. No, I think he's got right. some carry on. <laughs> I'll text you every day. Me too. <laughs> Caitlin, Craig, that's what emoticons are for. <sighs> He's got his mum's moves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks. No problem. Uh, see you in the morning. Yeah. Glad you're staying. You're probably in the minority. Hey, well. Speak tomorrow? Yeah, maybe. Nick, second thoughts, let's just get it over and done with now. Uh, all right, OK. So, uh, this is a point where you tell me where to go. If you had any brains, you wouldn't need telling. Brain damage, remember? Yeah, me too. What about Erica? 
She finished with me. For good this time. Because of me? Partly. But even if you didn't exist, we wouldn't have made it. You reckon we will? I reckon we'd be good for each other. I've never been good for anyone. Carla. I know what I feel for you. I will hurt you in the end, you know. I'll take my chances. You were gone ages. Yeah, I ran into Sean. Any news about Jason? Oh, swelling on his brain's gone down. Oh, he's still in a coma. Well, Eileen must be going out of her mind. Is Jason going to die? Is he? We don't know, love. I saw it. You saw what? I saw my dad kicking him. He was kicking and kicking him. Come here. On you next tonight, barbecuing your Sunday roast. What could go wrong? It's semi-final time for our wannabe barbecue champs. While on ITVB, Emily is a tough woman to please. She's the bachelorette.